Today, former President Donald Trump was arrested and arraigned on federal criminal charges. He entered not guilty pleas to 37 counts of mishandling classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago estate. ABC's Rena Roy recaps the day's historic events in our top story tonight at 10. Just hours after he was arrested and fingerprinted electronically, former President Donald Trump back in front of a crowd of supporters maintaining his innocence. Today we witness the most evil and heinous abuse of power in the history of our country. Very sad thing to watch. Trump speaking at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, flying there after his arraignment in Miami federal court, where he spent about an hour inside a courtroom, mostly staring at the floor, slumped over in his chair with a stern face and not uttering a single word. His attorney, Todd Blanche, entering a not guilty plea on behalf of Trump to all 37 federal counts, some potentially carried decades in prison if the former president is convicted. Special counsel Jack Smith, who led the investigation, sitting just one row behind Trump, has accused Trump of illegally keeping sensitive classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago resort, in a storage area, a ballroom, and even a bathroom. They allegedly included secrets about United States nuclear programs, potential vulnerabilities of the United States and its allies to military attack and plans for possible retaliation in response to a foreign attack. Trump's co-defendant, one of his closest aides, Walt Nauta, has also been charged, accused of conspiring with his boss to obstruct the investigation, though he didn't enter a plea because he didn't have local counsel to represent him. USA! Outside the courthouse, protesters from both sides gathering throughout the day. Food for everyone. Food for everyone. After the hearing, Trump stopped at a local Cuban restaurant to greet supporters. The former president has been barred from speaking to any witnesses about the case except through counsel. Nada is set to return to court later this month. Rena Roy, ABC News, Miami.